So recently, the team and I had the chance to go to a Falterback Germany to check out the manufacturing facility and top of the line vehicles at Mercedes AMG. We saw and tested some of the most exciting technological developments in the Mercedes AMG lineup, as well as the new e-performance line. And we also have the incredible opportunity to sit down with Mercedes AMG Chief Technical Officer Jochen Hermann to talk about the heritage of AMG. And to do that, we're going behind the scenes of the AMG engine manufacturing facility, where we see these handcrafted engines come to life. This is part of the exclusive access we've had with Mercedes over the past year to tell the story behind the brand. But let's start from the top and take a look at the Mercedes AMG One. This is something that I've dreamed of for so long. It's a car project that I've been following for a few years and as a Formula One fan, I've been very excited to hopefully have the opportunity to see it in person. And here we are in the paddock at the AMG facility in front of the AMG One as well as the Mercedes F1 W10, which is the championship winning car of Lewis Hamilton. This car features the same engine that is in the Formula One car, but it also features a direct cooled 800 volt battery and the the total horsepower that the car is able to deliver is 1,063. And this is as close as you're gonna to get to a Formula One car on the streets. And I know other manufacturers are also working on crazy hypercars, but it is just so incredible to see the popularity of Formula One, the technology behind it, and also the 55 year history of AMG coming together into an ultimate car like this. Being a Formula One fan and having had the opportunity to witness these insane cars in person and the technology and team behind it, it's an incredible accomplishment to see how close AMG One is to a performance standpoint while still being a vehicle that you can just hop in and push a button to turn on. And it's really exciting that some of the first customers are starting to take deliveries as we speak. I would agree saying that the AMG One is like the peak car and not only because of the Formula One technology, yes, for sure, but Technically, of course, it's the AMG One that brought us to this next level of electrification of existing conventional combustion engine powertrains. Just taking a look at the body itself, the monocoque actually has a lot of inspiration from the Formula One cars, the aerodynamics, the lightweight design, and also the way that the door opens right here, which is just so cool. The wheel in the front becomes fully exposed and reveals the one-piece carbon fiber tub that the driver sits in and the Formula One steering wheel design is also something that has me really excited. You have the silver arrows design on this demonstration right here and also has a dual DRS design that emulates what you see on the Formula One car as well. When it comes to the raw speed of this car though, at over 1,063 horsepower in total, it gives you a zero to 60 time of just 2.9 seconds and a zero to 300 time at just over 15 and a half seconds. And it really has like a driver focused experience, of course, being a Formula One car that is allowed on the road. It has a lot of elements that you find in the street cars, including the way you change your systems, your volume and everything, as well as the dials to be able to control the different racing modes and the driving modes which there are quite a few of, but it is shaped like a Formula One steering wheel. You have like the rectangular round shape that allows you to have great control of it. And there's also all of the different shifting lights on the top here. But otherwise, the inside is actually very minimal and stripped down. You have like just nice Alcantara finish throughout and it's all enclosed in this very compact carbon fiber tub. It is limited to just 275 units though and it has been sold out four times over at a price of 2.7 million American dollars. At this point, it's the pinnacle of technology available. A lot of the things that we have learned actually paid off for all our you know regular AMG cars. Combining a combustion engine with an electric powertrain was seen by the company as a massive area of opportunity and so in traditional AMG fashion, they decided to take their knowledge from motorsport and apply it to everyday consumer vehicle. Mercedes AMG can achieve the same, if not better performance than previous V12 and V8 engines respectively. So as we walk through the engine manufacturing facility, it embraces the notion of one man, one engine, where each engine is carefully handcrafted using modern day technologies for precision, as well as hand craftsmanship to ensure quality and performance throughout all the engines that leave the factory that are hand signed by each engineer. 
The factory itself is divided into two portions, including the V8 facility on the main floor and the inline fours on the second floor. And on the corner, we watch Michael put together a V12 Pagani engine, as he is just one of two engine builders in the world that still assembles these engines. So obviously these are performance combustion engines, but in the world of electrification moving into the future, what does this mean for AMG? Electrifying a powertrain is not a threat to AMG. It's a huge opportunity. And that was the decision that we made on the C63 SE performance, for example. So before we move on, I want to give a huge thanks to Soundcore and their Motion X600 Bluetooth speaker for sponsoring this video. And this is definitely a product that is amazing for any on-the-go lifestyle. Soundcore is a company that is known for high quality audio at a really good price point for what it is able to offer, both from a hardware and also optimization along with sound quality perspective. And take a look at the hardware itself of the Soundcore. This is like the perfect size to be able to bring around with you everywhere while delivering a ton of power and durability. This speaker itself has a very nice metal grill that wraps around. You have this very easy to carry handle that you can take around with you anywhere and it also isn't too heavy despite the size and power it's able to provide. When you take a look at the buttons at the top, you have your power button, your Bluetooth connect, as well as your bass control, spatial audio, as well as your volume and play pause, giving you access to all of the different settings directly from the speaker itself. The most significant thing about the speaker though is that there's high-end lossless as well as spatial sound in the Bluetooth speaker to make that immersion happen. Due to its size and form factor, there's an ultra wide soundscape that gives you incredible sound details. And a lot of that comes with the high res lossless audio streamed to a Bluetooth speaker, which a lot of times wireless audio and portable speakers are not exactly associated with the highest form of streaming bitrate. It's powered by D amplifiers as well as two woofers and two tweeters as well as one inch full range drivers. You can also use the Soundcore app to control the EQ exactly the way that you would like it to customize the sound profile specific to the music that you listen to and the preference that you might have. So here's a bit of a sound test when it comes to the audio that comes out of the Soundcore Motion 600 Bluetooth speaker with spatial audio and high res. The battery life is also about 12 hours, which is really impressive. And considering it comes in at a price point of under $150 for its pre-sale price and a retail price of $200, it is just a fraction of the cost of a hi-fi audio setup and you're able to get the best of optimization in a very portable setup like this. So if you guys wanna go in and check it out for yourself and access the pre-sale pricing, it is also available in a few different fun colors. And I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below at the top. Today, we're in Malaga, Spain to drive the Mercedes Mercedes AMG C63 SE Performance, which alludes to the e-performance technology found in Formula One cars and also, of course, in their AMG One project. This car kind of sits in the middle of the sizing lineup. I personally have a CLA 45 AMG at home, which is a little bit smaller, but I think has a really nice combination of a car that looks relatively classy and in some areas is a little bit understated, but it also has quite a few aggressive elements to design to it. And I feel like that's the best kind of crossover when it comes to a car that you can drive on a daily basis, but still has a ton of power, sportiness, and character. I really like the silver color here. I mean, I've had a silver car in the past with the black and chrome delete elements of it, and I think it looks really good. And the actual size of the C63 SE Performance is a little bit bigger than the typical C-Class to add to that sporty and aggressive element to the front, and we're gonna be driving this on the track later today. But the reason why I love these cars is because you really can drive it as like a daily. This side has the gas, but on the other side, you actually have the plug-in aspect. Taking a look at the trunk here, you see this beautiful badge 
garage, the C63S, but there's actually quite a bit of storage as well. Generally speaking, I would say this car definitely has a lot of nice classic elements to it in its design language, especially in the silver. And I'm really excited to be able to drive this in the beautiful Spanish countryside because there's just so much to experience and it's something that is relatively new. The handling feels incredible. The sound feedback that it still gives you is awesome and you're able to turn that on or off right here. And as we give it some gas, what is interesting to me though is that even though I wouldn't use the word hybrid specifically with this car, because hybrid is often associated with range, you can actually plug this in. This car's battery is not meant to give you any range whatsoever. You can get about 13 kilometers on an all electric mode, which is still good to have but it really is there to deliver the best performance possible and speed off the line in combination with the combustion engine. Of course, the big talk here is, do you really feel that amount of power right off the line with that electric engine? And yes, I mean like right off the line, you really do feel the car has an extremely good jump to it. There's no sense of like lag or anything. You really do feel that electric assisted torque right off the line which is something that I am not really used to with a combustion engine car. So that adrenaline that you get from an electric car is really evident here. Of course, it's not as loud as like the SL63 bi-turbo V8, but at the same time, you still get to enjoy the sound and the feel of the combustion engine. Even though I really enjoyed my experience with the all electric cars, I always felt like that instant torque, even though it like pushes you back on your seat, just felt like it was almost like too smooth. Whereas with this, you really still get that character that is maintained. I personally think that I could definitely see myself wanting to get this model of vehicle as my next daily car. With this car, we made a bold decision, but I would say a right decision to go into this e-performance technology and taking this car into a new sports car segment. So after a two hour drive, we arrived at the Ascari Race Circuit, which is a private resort that is just so beautiful. And it was time to test out the C63 SE Performance in action. With the car set up in the race drive program, it not only had all the information tuned to the track in order to record time, but the boost mode was enabled in certain areas of the track where we were able to punch down on the gas pedal and utilize the on-demand thrust that can be very powerful for acceleration maneuvers or powerful acceleration out of the corners along the main straights. This was a really fun experience and it was the first time I'd been able to drive a car on the track in this capacity. This new technology is not only enhancing current sporty AMG model, but it's also giving some more classic models a new look and feel. A perfect example of that in the lineup is the brand new Mercedes AMG S63 E performance that we had a chance to also have a brief look at during this trip. This car is one that I'm really excited about because we reviewed the S580 last year from Mercedes and absolutely loved the experience with the interior and also saw that in the beautiful luxurious interior of the EQS lineup as well. But here you have a model that is about performance. When it comes to the engine, it is a V8 4 liter that also features the 400 volt battery in the E performance lineup. And so now you have the C63 SE performance, the S63 E performance and you also have the GT63 SE performance. All of these utilize the hybrid Formula One technology. You're going to get a 0 to 60 time of 3.3 seconds on this car and 33 kilometers of dedicated electric range. I really look forward to the opportunity to be able to hopefully drive this on the road but just looking at it you can see the beautiful color right here. The satin finish is something that I personally really love and actually went with with my own car but when it comes to the interior as well there are so many things that I just love about the S-Class. Not only do you have a ton of space throughout the car, both as the driver but as a passenger, you also have a ton of cargo in the back and just the way the seats are cushioned and all of the technology behind what keeps you cradled in the seat as you go around these turns. You also have the Burmester 4D sound system that resonates the music through those seats. You have the carbon fiber trim, you also have the Falterback logo on the seat headrest itself and the interior details of the LED lights which are something that have been very well known in the Mercedes lineup, have this beautiful gradient look to it as well. And it just like really proves that this car, even though a lot of times the S-Class is considered one that you're supposed to be driven in versus driving on a day-to-day -day basis, is incredibly fun. And that's something that I noticed on the S580, but especially with the S63 E performance, it is truly one that you wanna get behind the wheel of, but you have the option to do both, of course. And it's just so exciting to see the electrification 
presentation of the AMG lineup and the different models you have available depending on the driving experience that you're looking for. I mean, as I said, after having the opportunity to drive the C63 SE earlier today, I just had a ton of fun with it and I can definitely see it being a model that I hope to pick up in the future because it really does combine the best of both worlds. Coming from the one, coming from the G63 SE performance, this is probably the most exciting time working in the automotive industry. Mercedes and Mercedes AMG are no stranger to exciting times in the automotive industry. Throughout its history, under its various names, Mercedes was a leader and innovator in motorsport and consumer vehicles. One of the most famous and iconic Mercedes-Benz racing team is the Silver Arrows. The Silver Arrows team made its debut in the 1930s and its cars were known for their distinctive silver paint schemes. They arrived at the racetrack just a few kilograms over the regulation and a last ditch effort to be able to make the weight restrictions was to remove all of the paint. The car ended up winning the race and that was the birth of the Silver Arrows that still carries on into its nickname in Formula 1 today. While we were in Stuttgart in an earlier trip we actually got to check out the original wind tunnel that Mercedes has in the middle of their headquarters to see this car wind tunnel tested for the very first time in its history. Tying this together with our tour at the Mercedes-Benz Museum in Stuttgart as well was really cool because we got to see the whole evolution of Mercedes on its own, the combination with Mercedes-Benz, Mercedes-AMG, as well as Formula One today. As a company developed in racing, luxury cars, and combining the two into the electrification process that also carry us into the future with the EQS and the EQXX project that we also had the chance to check out. The team achieved great success in racing with numerous victories in both Grand Prix and sports car racing events while the Silver Arrow team was disbanded in the 1950s. Once the racing team was suspended, however, it sparked a new beginning in the 1960s, when a couple of former motorsport engineers decided to go off on their own and start building and tuning their own engines in their garage in rural Germany. They entered an unconventional and heavy sedan turned race car nicknamed the Red Pig into 24 hours of spa and somehow won their category and came second overall in the endurance race. This raised some eyebrows and led to an extremely successful performance engine manufacturing company known today as AMG. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video and it has been an incredible week. We started out in a Falterback, Germany, being able to see the production line of the V8 as well as the four-cylinder engines, while also talking to Jochen Hermann about the vision of AMG and the performance technology that they're adapting into the future, while also being able to check out the paddock, which has the AMG One on display next to Lewis Hamilton's championship winning car. Seeing all these areas of technology come together while we also tie into our content of a electric cars and consumer technology on the channel just makes things very exciting because you guys really enjoyed the AMG content that we've done on the channel in the past couple years. As an AMG owner myself, kind of joining that ecosystem, it is incredible to see the AMG family at the facility where they actually produce all these amazing products, but also see the new products that are to be coming in the lineup moving forward. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, if you liked it, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.